Google has finally allowed us to add social media icons to your Google business profile. So we're gonna go through exactly how to do that, whether you're on desktop, mobile, and also what that means for your business. So previously, before this last update, the only way to add your social media profile links was to have structured data or schema on your website and also have a profile that was powerful and relevant enough for Google to pick up on it, meaning it had reviews, it had a certain number of followers, things like that. That's what this looks like. That's how this one was pulled in prior to this update. What we're gonna do next is I'm gonna show you exactly how to add the rest of your social media icons. So you can do a couple things. One, make sure you are logged in to your profile, your Gmail account that is connected to your Google business profile. The next thing you can do is you can even search yourself here. For some reason, mine is not pulling up. So I'm gonna to go to my business profile manager and I'm going to sort for just my business, which is gonna pull up the same screen that we were just looking at. And what you're gonna to wanna to go to is you're gonna to wanna to go to edit profile here in the top left. You're gonna to wanna scroll down and Google makes it real obvious where to add those social media profile links. So go ahead and click in here. And then from the drop down, you're gonna see that Google has the top six or seven listings here. Go ahead, click the icon, and then you're gonna go ahead and put your web address in. You wanna make sure the web address has the domain. So like tiktok.com and then slash, and then it's going to be just your, your handle here. All right, so once you've added all of those listings, you can go ahead and hit save. Google's gonna give you an update that it's gonna take about 10 minutes to review this. So we'll be back shortly here to see what that looks like once these are all updated. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. I refresh my screen. You can see that all the links are saved here. And then this is how they show up down near the bottom. Obviously it looks like they can only fit five on the screen and we had seven, but this is exactly how they will show up on the screen. And if you open one of these up, it will take you right to your page, which is great except for the fact that if you have neglected your social media presence, you're gonna make it really easy for your customers to see that your social media presence is not there. So if you only get Google reviews and you don't focus on your reputation and updating these other pages, customers may actually decide to do business with somebody else. So this is actually gonna put more focus on your social media management and your social media mark. It's something you should know and should make plans for. And if you would like to go ahead and add your social media profile links to your Google business profile on your phone. Go ahead and go to google.com. Make sure you are signed in again to your Gmail account. Go ahead and type in your business name. Now, normally your should pull up right here on the top. For some reason, mine is not. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click my listing. And just like you did on your desktop, you're gonna go to edit profile. You're gonna scroll down. And you can see from the desktop version, I've already added these, but this is where you would go ahead and add these here. Now, if you change or delete or need to delete a social media listing, you can do so with the trash can icon that's over here on the right, or just go to the web address and change the web address there. If this video was helpful for you, please like the video, subscribe, and feel free to share this with any of your business friends as they might need this information to help their business grow online. Until next time, stay relentless.